Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back for another summoning session. It will be a short one this time because as, as I said on my previous videos, uh, I just want to hit the PT right here, uh, so um, probably I will do only one multi or maybe two, uh, but uh, let me explain why. Uh, as I said in my previous videos, uh, in two weeks, normally uh, on January 13th, we will have a Dragon Tribe banner with Hezonja, Nazil uh, for sure, and probably other uh, heroes from the Dragon Tribe, so such as Hoff, maybe, uh, maybe Melia. I d I'm not sure about Melia. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe Greta, and they are uh, great units. And Hisanja and Nazil are must-have units. So uh, I'm gonna pull uh, in order to try to get an extra copy of Elbeck because I really love him and I want the, the first exclusive I'm gonna explain everything you have to know on this banner should you summon or should you, shouldn't you So first of all, let's talk about the units right here. So we have uh, Guhana. Uh, Guhana is one of the best units to bring in the Bullmark Tower and in dungeons because she uh, can lower the speed of the boss by 40%. She can increase your speed by 20% for all your allies, which is great. If you have exclusives on her, if you have the second one, uh, she can increase the speed of your allies by 40% instead of 20% so if you already have some copies of her maybe try your luck and get some extra copies of her it will be really nice she is great for the blue tower of mark i was able to beat stage 30 of blue tower of mark i recorded a video i'm gonna uh, publish it really soon you will see uh, the slow on the boss is really really helpful also she can heal a lot and lower the direct damage of your units and cleanse your dots on your heroes if you have the first exclusive so she is great then you have slagdo slagdo is great in the arena especially if you have the first exclusive and with the first exclusive he can also be great in the force tower of mark because he can remove all the buffs when he has the first exclusive with one skill that means he can remove the, the shield of the boss and in arena it's a devastative combo if you use him with uh, focus uh, not focus but uh, bizden because uh, he will with the first exclusive, remove all the buffs before attacking, he will deal AoE damage right after that, and he will get increase uh, in crit rate, crit damage and attack thanks to Bizidon, and also he will deal more damage thanks to his passive to enemies who doesn't who don't have any attribute buff, so it is a devastating, de devastative combo in, to use in the arena. So he is a nice hero. Uh, Alahan is great on the uh, Force Tower of Mark because he can remove the shield using his ultimate and also he can remove one random buff using his uh, basic attack. Uh, it's a 100% chance, so every turn he will remove the shield of the boss. He is the best hero to bring in the Tower of Mark in order to uh, remove the shield of the boss. So he is a great unit. Also, he can heal a lot and equalize the, the HP of your units. That means if one of your units have a 90% HP for example and the others uh, have only 10% remaining every hero in your team will have 90% HP okay this is really nice but be careful because if all your units have almost the same amount of HP uh, he won't heal them that much so you have to be careful. He can also be nice in the advanced arena because he can stun in AoE using his ultimate. Uh, he is nice in the classic arena but not, not that much because in the classic arena in the classic arena, sorry, it's a bit different. You want to uh, beat the enemy really fast and he doesn't really help to do that. Then you have Elbeck. He is a great support in my opinion, but he deserves the first exclusive in order to apply the, the ally protection on your allies. Uh, otherwise, he will bring a, a nice shield on your on your allies using the second ability. And he, I love playing him with a lot of crit rate and crit damage because he deals a lot of damage based on his max HP, and he uh, increase he increases his max HP over time. Um, he becomes really really tanky and deal a crazy amount of damage. I, I made other videos about him on my channel so if you are curious you can have a look to them. Final, uh, finally, Walter here is one of the best poisoner in the game. Every time an enemy attack him, uh, the enemy get uh, a poison on him. He uh, heal himself when an enemy with a poison uh, take a turn. 
he can trigger poisons using his ultimate and with exclusive he can lower uh, the damage uh, inflicted by uh, targets with poisons on them and also he can increase the poison damage of your units if they attack an enemy with uh, poison so um, he is a great unit to have if you are running with a poison team so I would really love to get uh, uh, to be lucky on this uh, summoning session and to get uh, copies of Elbeck so I can uh, increase the power of mine and get the first exclusive at least so it will be nice. Also for the wish rebate if I am lucky enough to get two heroes from the banner uh, I will reach the epic dragon eye here so it will be really really nice. But I will pull only for the pity to get the double, uh, the double legend and then I will save my uh, summons for uh, for the next uh, regular summoning session in two weeks for the Dragon Tribe and try my luck and get Hezonja maybe. So uh, if I don't have heroes from the banner, I would love to get Hezonja because I don't have him uh, yet. Uh, I would love to have not here. Uh, if I'm lucky enough, I would like to have uh, Walter in order to build him a poison team in the future, so why not? Otherwise, I would love to have Focus because I don't ha I don't have him yet. Uh, maybe one of these three units right here. Um, they are great units: Fiona, uh, Elsa, yeah, it's Elsa, and Elena for a bleed team because I'm building a bleed team uh, at the moment with Lomas. Uh, I would love to have copies of his arrow because he is a great bleeder and I want to build him. So probably if I have an extra copy of him, I'm gonna build him soon. Um, then Asindo because I still don't have her, I don't care about Dario. Uh, maybe Timmy, why not? Others I don't care right here. And Slivel, yeah Slivel, really I would love to have her in priority uh, because uh, Hezenja in two weeks uh, probably I will be lucky enough and I will have a lot of uh, summons so probably I will have one copy of him. I really hope I will. Uh, so Slivel would complete my guild boss team because she can apply uh, the attack buff 40% uh, on my allies and it could be really really nice for my guild boss uh, team. And finally, why not copies of uh, Nidrold because he is uh, such a great unit, a great leader. And as I said, I am currently building a team around Lomas, so I need a second leader. So uh, I want to have copies of um, of Nidrold or uh, Hizaro or to have some copies of Elina maybe. Uh, yeah, I want to build a bleed team and to try it in the guild boss and also in dungeons to see the potential. So, one more time, I would like to insist on the fact that in, that in two weeks we will have a Dragon Tribe banner with Hezonja and uh, Nazil. So, it is really important if you don't have them to save the maximum amount of wishes you have, you can, because they are game changer. Uh, Hezonja is the best DPS in every content, content in the game and also he is your best uh, friend to bring in the Green Tower of Mark. He is such a great unit he is broken and finally Nazil is the best unit to bring in the arena he can freeze everybody without the need of speed so you just need some effect hit on him and he will change your all your fights so these two units are great I would like to add that uh, currently in the game uh, it's all about being really passionate because everything, once you have uh, enough heroes built, uh, then you will want to save your summons because now, as you can see, we have the information sooner. We know that we will have Hezonja and Nazil in the next banner. Uh, it uh, has been one week uh, and in two weeks we will have them. So three weeks before we have the information. Uh, so, in the future we will have more limited units such as Nicholas and probably they will uh, come back in the future. So, um, probably if we don't need food, if you need food, you have to summon. But if you are at the point where you don't need food, so probably in a few months is for everybody, uh, probably it's uh, worth it to save some summons to focus the heroes you want uh, when they come back in a summoning sessions. So this is my advice and this is what I am gonna do in the future. So that was all for that, enough talk, let's jump into the summons. So here we are, let me run the video and see what heroes did I get on this summoning session, on this temple. So the, the legendary hero is here. 
a bit uh, before the PT and it is it is a slack though I would have preferred to have another one from the banner uh, probably Walter uh, or uh, Elbeck but it is fine okay so the second one and this it is one of out of the banner and this is Amalik I'm not a big fan of Amalik and I have a lot of copies of him so probably in the future he can uh, help me in the arena maybe uh, let me show you now this is my account I have one Amalik right here and two other copies here so now I can have the second exclusive on Amalik he becomes really interesting with exclusives especially in the arena so maybe in the future in the advanced arena he could be a nice unit or maybe in the frozen faction I don't know exactly where I'm gonna use him but clearly I'm not gonna build him soon I decided to make other summons because as you can see here I'm really close on the wish goals to have the legendary scroll right here so I will get 100, 150 points per epic so normally with uh, only uh, 40 stones 40 wishes I should be able to reach this one okay so back to it only 10 pools a few ones in order to get the the, the legendary scroll so 10 one okay 250 points with a 10 pool and one epic so maybe with only a 30 pools it should be okay so let's do 10 more And this is it, okay, N nothing uh, excellent during these 30 more pulls, but okay, now I have the scrolls, so it's great. Uh, legendary scrolls have a huge value, so this is the reason why I decided to spend a bit more wishes. But it won't change anything for the next summoning session in two weeks. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, if it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe, and then see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.